Hello. Hello. Hi. Good morning. How are you? Yes, I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. How are you? I'm good as well. Thank you for asking. Okay. Okay. So, um, I think this is our fourth or fifth session together, right? So, have you seen any improvement in yourself till now? I think so. And rest is depends on you. <laughs> yes. Okay. Great. Great. And so, did you go through the session topic? Uh, it it is cooking. Yes, cooking. Correct. Yeah. So, do you like to cook? I I don't know. I mean, I don't know how to cook, but I can manage. Like, I know a bit of cooking that I can survive a few days on my own. Okay, so the basic cooking, right? On yeah. which you can survive. Okay, cool, cool. And um, so, do you often go out to eat, or is there someone else who makes food for you or prepares food for you? Uh, I live. With my family, my parents and uncle and aunties, so it is a joint family. So I generally uh, eat at home only. Okay, okay. You generally eat at home. And yeah. so, which is your favorite dish? I like the normal rice and lentils. Okay, is that your favorite dish? The uh, the general thing that I generally eat. Otherwise, if I talk about favorite, it. It is uh, biryani, like chicken biryani or mutton biryani. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Okay, great. And so, um, when you were a child, did you go into the kitchen and you know help out your mom whenever she used to cook, or used to not like to help your mother in the kitchen from the start? Mm. To be honest, I have been grown in a family where. Even the uh, mothers or the other uh, members, they never thought that a boy should learn the cooking. I might, I mean to say that even if we were able to help something, uh, they would, we would be told that leave it. It is not your job. Correct. So, correct. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So, like you correctly mentioned that you know, uh, in the past it wasn't. You know that open and people had a very narrow mind thinking that you know, yeah, right? Boys should and you know not do all the household work, not only cooking but you know, a lot of household works that boys shouldn't engage into. Yeah. Yes. Of course. You are saying something. And and like I always say that there is a two type of countries live in India. The one side is still that. Con conservative and superstitious, and the yes. another one is liberal, and they are quite open to things and accept the new generation, the new time. Like the time has changed, so they accept all of that. So, like all the metropolitan cities, and of course in big cities, even in small cities, some families have reached up to that level. But uh, in villages and small cities, the most number of people are still living in that era where they have certain uh, things in their mind that this should be done only this way. Yes, yes. Correct, correct. And um, even, you know, sometimes people living in cities have this mindset. Yeah, of so, course. Like uh, when we say this, that uh, people of every category live in every part of India. We say it only on the basis of the number of, a high number of people. Like in metro cities, there are a high number of people. They are liberal, and in small cities or in villages, high number of people are conservative. So, of course, every at every place, every kind of person are available in our country. Yes, yes, correct, correct. And do you think it was right when you know in like in the past when boys were told not to do it, or um, you know girls were only told to do the household work and they were not given education do you think it made any sense even from their point of view or do you think not, it made sense not at all i mean 
this this were baseless and these are and this always will be till the time people are thinking this way of course they need to change it and uh, situations have changed quite a lot i would say but of course like i said that in villages or in small cities there are many number of people that they are still living in the same era right so we need to spread awareness and the reason for this that is only the education for sure correct because correct. people are not educated they are not able to uh, live up uh, live or accept this new trend correct yes that is true that is true um till you don't get educated about certain things you really don't understand or you know no the difference between what is good and what is bad but what is right and what is wrong so yeah, once like, you uh, yeah. yeah sorry go ahead no 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 it's fine continue i mean like in every field if we talk about marriage of course like the end endogamy or exogamy yeah. so i mean even the endogamy persists the exogamy is out of question in some part although in those part only people are doing that so uh, that is like that no matter which field we take we are thinking that way i mean if we talk about the women's education as well still the girls are being married while they are graduation that okay what would you do after having study you have to uh, uh, take care of your house and you have to become a homemaker and all that all that is still happening but of course there are some parents who want that of course they have to give their uh, girls the same kind of facilities or same chance or what if they could do better so they uh, they are being given that way yes yeah, yes yeah. that is true that even like you mentioned that you know what would girls do after getting education and you know after even graduation what will you do so yeah. even that mindset even a lot of people nowadays they have that mindset you know i've actually met some um like some of my friends parents who actually think that way that you know what will you do after graduation and you know you don't need to do any work so and i, I would like to add one more thing that when the guardian think that way it 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 is i mean we can accept it because we know we have been designed in that way so we have been saying that for years but at some places even the young guns are like young mind think that way like the even the girls would think that okay i don't need to do anything all i have to do is to get married so if i find a, a good i mean match it is okay for me so okay. uh, this is uh, this is something precarious because everyone should be looking forward to independence especially financial independence must be there in yes. everybody's life that's what i feel yes so that's that's even um, true when you know i'm speaking about how let's say you get married to maybe a good guy but what if something happens to him right, right. because there is no guarantee that you are going to live together for 50 years or 70 years together right so anything could have happened like could might like happen and then you have your kids you need to take care of them you can't just you know walk away from them so if you are independent enough then you can take care of them if not right. then you know um maybe you'll like they might come a situation where you yeah, might have right. to uh, come on streets so i think that aspect like becoming independent and then getting married is quite you know considerable and you know thoughtful because if not that way then one of the situation will arise right and right. even if like nowadays i've seen that it's not just the women but even men who you know try to become house husband if you've heard of the term like yeah, housewives house husband yes yeah. yeah so things are changing quite slowly and i think a lot of things that we used to do in the past we stopped doing that and we are looking forward to more advanced uh, practices right right, right. Yeah. yeah correct and um, also you mentioned about endogamy and exogamy right 
so did you like do you think that these practices were like good or do you support them uh, uh well i don't support i mean uh, that's what uh, that's what i was trying to tell that this is still being followed like uh, okay. you if you are same from same birth you cannot marry or if you mm -hmm. are from inter caste you cannot inter religion you so uh, these things are avail uh, i mean pretty pretty much prevalent and this correct, will correct. stay like the the way the society has designed we are not going to say that this is going to erad uh, be eradicated so i i don't think uh, i don't see it happening in near future as well maybe even after 50 years or 100 years it will still be there in some part of our country or not only our country even uh, the abroad as well yes yeah. like the situations is almost similar in many parts of in the world because we are aware about our country then we talk this way only yes yeah, yes yeah. so true that so whichever country has you know strict um, religious laws they yeah. also you know tend to not like practice exogamy and only endogamy because they do not allow their um, you know um, women or even men to marry outside their own religion All so right. that's correct that's correct and also a lot of practices like um, you know which were there in the olden days so some of them were also useful right so can you think yeah. of any of those which were useful like which was maybe something done as a superstition or maybe just blindly but now that you know we think about it we actually make sense when we think it from a science point of view so does any practice come to your mind uh uh this is of course a nice uh, way of perceiving things but i can't recollect anything right now because okay, okay. i i have not been able to think this way ever okay okay i'll tell you one of the this thing uh aspects or one of the parts so i think you might be aware of that you know in the in the olden days people used to put copper coins into the river yeah. right so they used to put copper coins and then they used to make a wish right or even right. you might have heard of wishing wells so you put a coin in the well and yeah. then you know they think that you know the well will actually make your wish come true so what the point was of this is copper keeps the water clean right because nowadays okay. you have copper filter and you know even when you store water it is advised that you should keep it in a copper utensil drink it from copper glass so copper used to actually keep the water clean and filtered and so that is the reason why they used to put copper coins because that back then it was only copper coins right so when it started right. so that time it was copper coin but now it's become you know different coins silver coins and iron coins so that doesn't make sense but back then when right. we used to actually do it it was a cop it started with copper coins and that is the reason they used to do it because the water used to stay clean and you know filtered so this okay. is one of the customs that you know they used to do and which was helpful back then but now it is no more helpful but of course the people are designed in that way that they are still doing that and yes. they are doing that they are not going to accept this reality and stop this yes yes correct 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 and even for the ashes that you know you throw in the ganga after a person is dead you throw the ashes right so even though ashes it is you know very helpful for the plants or you can say okay. the soil so that yeah. is the reason yes mm -hmm. yes of course so uh, there are so many things like you mentioned two things here so so many mm -hmm. other things are there as well that they might have started as yes. a superstition but there was a scientific reason behind that and of yes. course those munis uh, they were aware about those things but they Get were it. unable to uh, think the other way to spread it to people 
So they yeah. put it in a, such a way that everybody would start agreeing to it and they would be accustomed to doing this. Yes, yes. And I think, you know, they thought that, like you mentioned, the Munis, the saints. So I yeah. think they might have thought that if we directly tell them that, you know, they are good for the river, nobody is going to do it. Right. right but right. if we tell them a story, we tell them like, okay, if you yeah. do this, your wish will be fulfilled. So I think right, right. that was a good idea to, you know, in the start to let, tell people to just take care of the river. Because right. even nowadays, let's say, if you say, like, you know, uh, take care of the river, take care of the beaches, do not pollute them. Nobody will listen. Right. 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 So I think they were quite mindful when, you know, they were just making the story up and, you know, telling people that just do this so your wish will get fulfilled. So Right, right. Yes, I think it was just what they thought was right during that time. But then, you know, after that, people started doing it blindly. So yeah, I think and then uh, that was wrong. Hmm. I mean, even that is not wrong. If something is useful, uh, it is good. But if it is not that useful, then only it became uh, worrisome. But of course, people are not aware. So since they have been doing uh, this way only, so they are unable to change it. And okay. uh, today we are feeling that, uh, I mean, we are in a position where we think that we need to spread awareness about this. So those okay. who are able to analyze it rationally or radically, I would say they, they can think that way. Or okay. Only they are the, I mean, the uh, future hope that they can aware this, uh, uh, spread this awareness and okay. uh, ask people to do what is right and okay. not follow okay. anything blindly. Yes, yes, yes. So you mentioned that we are worrisome. So you don't say yeah. we are worrisome. It is worrisome. You know, the idea, yeah. the thought is worrisome. Or yeah. if you want to say we, so you can use we are worried. Okay, yeah. we are worried. Okay. Okay. Yes. And yes, like you mentioned that, you know, because it's not easy to just, you know, directly stop doing something that you've been already doing, you know, for the past right. so many years. So it just becomes very addictive to, you know, stop doing that. So, right. yes, that is correct. And so talking about superstitions, do you follow any superstitions? Or do you uh, believe in any superstition? I, I don't. I actually do not believe in any of those. Okay, but like when you were a child, were you, you know? Yeah, your... I mean, yes. when I was a child, of course, I used to do so many things that I was asked to, but at the later, I mean, at the later stage of my teenage, I started uh, thinking on my own. And from there onwards, I stopped doing anything or any those kind of things. Yeah. Things like. So what were some of the superstitions you were told to do? Uh, like uh, don't uh, cut your nail on Thursday don't eat uh, certain foods on Thursday or Saturday so uh, these things that I can think of and like uh, during that time I had been in that zone that I had found some of other superstitions like you might have listened to it uh, from different spectators that while watching cricket they used not to leave their seat. That once I leave it, India is going to lose a wicket. Yeah, so yeah. till the time it is going good, let me sit. Let me don't change my position and all, all those kind of things I have yeah. done as well. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. So you mentioned don't let me. So you say I I don't change my seat. Okay. You mentioned okay. it something incorrectly, but okay. I was just you know listening to you, so I forgot what the sentence was. But um, remember, you don't use don't in the past. Okay. I don't do it. Okay. So if you are using it in the present, then you say not. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. So do you still practice those beliefs? Like not getting no. up when the match no, no. is on? Not at all. Not at all. Now do you like not believe in any of those no or do I you secretly not. believe in some like you know some of the beliefs not not at all 
no believe at all okay None no of believe those kind. yeah okay that's great that's great and do you know people who you know still believe in these cast like these superstitions yeah many many are there mm-hmm. not only this they, uh, they are so many in my neighborhood that who believe all those kind of superstitions which we are uh, habitual uh, habituated to doing for mm-hmm. years mm-hmm. yes yes and so have you ever tried to you know tell them that this is not correct and you know this belief is wrong have you ever tried doing that no no i haven't tried i mean the moment i started thinking that okay these are the things that people are using and once i believed that i should not do this but uh, how can i make other aware so okay. i tried for one or two time maybe and then mm-hmm. i realized that it is a uh, futile it is uh, certainly yeah, futile so let them believe their way and let me think my way and okay. let it go this way only yes yes so sometimes you know people are so much rooted deep rooted into their beliefs that they do not believe others belief system at all or you know yeah. like you mentioned it's futile it's of no use you know wasting your time on trying something that you already know that you will not get success in so yes of course i think that is very true that is very true so some people you know if they were doing something like you know the most common superstition is um when a black cat crosses your path you should wait for someone else to cross it and then you know you should go so yeah. this is i think one of the most common one and you know people still do it and you know i've seen yeah, so many course. strangers do it as well and you know even my mother like you know she tells me that if this happens you should not go so i think these are some of the things that you know we still do and yeah i mean i don't believe in those either but you know i just wonder like why did they even make this belief like you know why only yeah. a black cat why not a white cat so <laughs> all of these things you know it just strikes our mind that what were they thinking like you know what was their thinking system so yeah. was it so different that you know they had to actually invent so many things or what but yes one of okay. the superstitions um about you know not sleeping under the banyan tree at night have you heard that superstition yeah of course because there are ghosts on the banyan tree at night All right so yes so one of the scientific reasons for this is that you know at night carbon dioxide is released from right, plants right right Yeah, right. of course. So yes, and it is enough to kill a person. So maybe right. something like this might have happened, and you know they did not really understand what the reason was. So they were like, "It's a host, right? It's yeah. a witch who killed uh, the person." So yes, these are some of the superstitions that you know are deeply engraved in our systems, and it is quite difficult to remove them. Like you've already mentioned that you know you cannot. change their system the way they are thinking yeah. but definitely you can change the way you are thinking right, right. and that yeah. and that that is what i always focus on and not only about superstitions even about the certain perspective on different topics if somebody even if one of my friends or others if they have certain perspective it is nearly impossible to change their mind because Sorry. they are unable to i mean they have certain kind of positions on on these things out of no radical thinking at all they they Correct. can't think rationally they have this because they think that okay the, uh, this is uh, i this is the way i should think and this Correct. is what i have been told this is what i have perceived from listening to one or the other so they are unable to change that so like uh, i would like to at the uh, the topic here the marital rape mm-hmm. so once i was reading and then i tried to uh, discuss it with one of my friends mm-hmm. and he said that this kind of thing certainly does not happen in our mm-hmm. society if someone Correct. is married it is okay it it is not a, a question of uh, argument at all so mm-hmm. 
at time i thought that okay how can i make him aware about this but later i thought that okay leave it what uh, what is the point correct okay. his way or if he can think or read on this topic more he will be able to change himself so correct okay. okay. i, I okay. don't follow in that category i i let it go i mean whatever mm-hmm. i'm thinking i need to change myself only yes 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 so a lot of times you know people they really get uncomfortable with certain topics and okay. like you mentioned about marital rapes so it is not that common in india even you know to talk about such topics right not just about marital rapes but also menstruation and then you know um mental health so right. all of these things you know people don't talk about and they feel really shy to talk about and but, uh, but what i was trying to say that it's okay to not talk about but at least you should accept that it is uh, i mean it is a problem but if yes. somebody is not considering it as a problem that okay this this thing doesn't exist in our society yes yes so uh, that is precarious because in that way you are not able to think on this and you uh, you think that okay if someone is claiming this so uh, says not uh, claiming the right thing so how how can it be justified yes 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 so i was coming to this point that you know if people are not just comfortable talking to it they don't even consider it a problem like yeah. you know another good example of this could be climate change so right. maybe cli- you cannot see or experience climate change in your area but uh, right. it definitely is visible in a lot of other parts right right so just because you are not witnessing anything doesn't mean that that thing is not actually happening right, right. so a lot of problems like this you know have been ignored by people and people have been ignorant about this for many years let's say now but um, you know it is high time that we look into these topics and you know try to find our solutions for it because right if you don't consider it a problem then you won't find a solution right so it's high time that we find it like you know we categorize it as a problem and then find solutions towards it so right yes correct okay so we have one minute left do you have any questions any queries uh, anything uh, nothing nothing that that comes in my mind right now i can't okay. recollect anything yeah